Hey, I'm Simon. Today we are going to show you how to test and replace the noise filter on your LG washer. If you are experiencing symptoms like loud buzzing noises, interrupted cycles, or your washer isn't powering up at all, it might be time to check or replace the part. Before we jump in, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more handy DIY appliance repair guides. Let's get started. And together we will wrestle the issue with confidence. With over 2 million products in stock and the know how to help you to do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. For the job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, and a multimeter. Before going any further, unplug the washer and use the multimeter to check power at the wall outlet. Extreme care should always be taken to protect against electric shock, which could potentially result in serious injury. Please do not test live voltage if you are uncomfortable using a multimeter around live voltage. Set the meter to wall CC. The letter V is the wavy line. Insert meter probes, not your fingers, in the outlet. You are supposed to read about 120 volts AC. If there is no voltage, flip the correct circuit breaker on, off, and check again. If there is still no power, call an electrician. If you have a proper voltage, get your Phillips screwdriver and remove two bottom screws from the plastic brackets at the top rear of the washer. Slide the top back for less than an inch and leave the top off. The noise filter is mounted on the inside of the cabinet. Use the flat lead screwdriver to remove white plug. With the multimeter set to volts AC, insert meter probes in the connector. Plug the washer in. If there is no 120 volts AC on your meter, the power cord is damaged and must be replaced. If you have about 120 volts AC on your meter, continue to the noise filter. To test the noise filter, unplug the washer and install the white connector back. Then remove the red connector and have your multimeter set to volts AC. Plug the washer in and touch the contacts on the noise filter with the meter probes. If there is about 120 volts AC, the noise filter is good. If the voltage is not correct, it's defective and should be replaced. Start with unplugging the washer. Using the flat lead screwdriver, remove both connectors from the filter. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the single screw at the top of the filter out. Slide it to the right and remove it. This is the old noise filter next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Mount the new filter onto the side panel through the hole and slide it to the left to lock. Then secure it with a single Phillips screw. Connect the two plugs. Plug the washer in and check if it works. Then unplug it again and install the top panel. Push it forward to lock and then secure the panel with two Phillips screws. Plug the washer in again and start doing crazy stuff like, for example, laundry. And another thing is crossed out of your honey-do list. Great job getting the noise filter replaced on your LG washer. We would love to hear how your repair went, so drop a comment below and share your experience. If you still need a replacement noise filter, simply grab your model number and head over to AppliancePartsPros.com. Most orders arrive within a couple of days, getting your washer back up and running smoothly in no time. Thanks for trusting us with your DIY repair journey, and we look forward to helping you on your next project.